Today we're going to be doing a off the shelf because it's been um, a little bit of a while, but we're going to be doing one of these off the shelves for um, 112263. Pretty excited because um, I don't usually get to talk about this book much because most people haven't read it um, and I haven't finished it, but I will be doing a majority, which is practically, um, you know, a novel size. Um, because I've read up to 350 pages, right? So that's, that's a pretty significant amount. I mean, considering though that it also has uh, like a thousand, eight, yeah, 850. So, I mean, I mean, I like, I, you know, I'm, I'm a chunk of the way. So we'll do another one eventually someday um, about the rest of it. But yeah, um, so I kind of just got to part four, so we won't be talking about um, Sadie and the General. Um, but, so the premise, um, I can just read somewhere there's a synopsis of what this is. Oh, nope. Life can turn on a dime or stumble into extraordinary into the extraordinary as it does for Jake Eping. Yeah, his name sucks. A high school uh, English teacher in Maine Town. Maine Town. Well, grading essays by GD students, Jack reads a gruesome and trailing piece pen penned up by janitor Henry Duffing, Henry Dunning, uh, 50, 50 years ago. Harry somehow survived his father's sledgehammer slaughter of his entire family. Jake is blown away, but even more bizarre secrets come to light when Jake's friend, Al, owner of the local diner, and left Jake to take over the mission and has become his obsession. To prevent Kennedy assassination, to prevent Kennedy assassination, how? By stepping through a portal into a diner's storeroom, into the era of Ike and Elvis and the big American cars, stock, stock hops, and cigarette smoke, finding himself in an underworthing Jolly Texas and Jake begins begins a new life, but all turns on the road lead to the, the troubled loner named Lee Harvey Oswald. The course of history is about to be rewritten and become a heart stopping suspenseful. It's not super suspenseful. Um, there's only been one instance so far, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's super crazy long, though. World's longest book, I swear to god. Like, look up on, just the intro is eight pages, eight long pages, and, like, the first chapter, let's see how long this is, yeah, the first chapter is 20 pages, right off the bat, like, you know, fuck me, right, I'm just trying to, yeah, so it's all about Al's Diner, and Al's is kind of older guy, they made a new TV show about it, but, um, I've heard that they just skipped all the way to where he's in Texas, which is hella dumb. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, so we're talking about Al as an older man, and he kind of ends up um, killing himself, of course. Um, that's kind of, kind of the big turning point. It's not really a spoiler, because I don't think anyone here is going to read this. It's insanely long. Um, yeah, so there's this... He kind of goes back in time, and there's this card man, and he changes, and there's this crazy scene where he goes back in time to save this janitor. Um, and it's pretty interesting, like, the detail that goes into it, um, um, the era, and the kind of everything that's going on. It is pretty interesting. Um, of course, then the janitor, uh, he saves the janitor, but then, you know, there's other out, out like, out, outs like, things that make him, prevent him from actually trying to save him the first time, and, and all sorts of police action, and people were looking at him, and there's a place that he lives in called Derry, which is very similar to the It Town in Derby, so I don't know if he was trying to do a play on words there, but, yeah, eventually, um, he ends up going back in time, though, a second time, which is kind of dumb, because, um, to be honest, why would you, because if you go back in time a second time, then you're rewriting it again. Um, and so he ends up doing that and saving him um, quicker. He ends up saving all of his family by shooting him in the head. Um, but yeah, 
and he kind of regrets these decisions. And then there's this woman that he saves that was uh, paralyzed by a stray bullet, and he kind of does a chess match with it. But the same kind of thing, you know, people think that he's odd and whatever. They almost know that he's a time traveler, even though they don't. Some people do. Um, and then later on, um, he gets to this Texas town, you know, that has, he's kind of a play director. I guess he was in the present day too, so that was kind of interesting um, for my um, And then eventually, um, you know, he meets, kind of meets this interesting woman at this party because this librarian's leaving because she has cancer, and then of course she dies of cancer, so. I mean, like, so far, like, this book is really pretty uh, interesting, for sure. But, I mean, I've been reading it since uh, December. Yeah, a little bit of December, since 2015, so, like, it's been a while. Um, and it's, it's hard to read, man. Um, you have to kind of take breaks and pauses and stuff like that. So, it's definitely a difficult thing, but, um, yeah, that's, that's that first part, one, one through three. Um, as an off-the-shelf, and, uh, when we finish it, or at least I get another chunk in the way, you know, we'll, we'll talk about what that means, and, and, uh, if the ending's effective and stuff like that, so, yeah, if you like it, you know, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want, but, yeah, have a good day.